Here at Brock University, 19,100 students spend their days learning, studying, and growing right here on campus. People of some walks of life pass through its winding hallways, its labyrinthian corridors, and glass walls. Here, at this unassuming building, is where our journey begins. It has been said that Brock University is a university ruined by doors. But what does that mean? Who is behind it? And what is the true purpose of Brock's doors? Welcome, Calvin, to our to our little, little interview. Uh, we have a couple questions for you, and we want you to answer them completely honestly. We want you to answer honestly, and uh, if you're passionate about the subject, feel free to go on out. Go okay. out. Yeah. Question one is, what do you think, or how do you think your first experience with uh, the following subject went? When was the first time you saw a door? A door? A door. <laughs> the first time I ever saw a door? A door. Describe to us the first time you saw a door. <laughs> Doors. What are they? What purpose do they serve? They let people in and keep people out. They make rooms, connect us, separate us. A door can open new possibilities or lock us out forever. I mean, if we're going back to my furthest back memory, it's probably when I was being like wheeled in the hospital. I think I was like two at the time. I had some bad stomach gut thing or whatever. And I remember like being wheeled to like these big old doubled hospital doors. It was the same place that I saw like a bunch of kids movies that you probably saw, but they were in French for some reason. Uh, my earliest memory of it is when I was four years old and I ran into the front door of my house and uh, fell down the porch steps. So that's probably my first memory of it. Actually, so I was in Australia with my uh, mother's family, right? And we went out and like we were just like, you know, we get out of the car and like staring us down is a boar. I was probably too short to reach the handle. So I went, what is this infernal contraption? I've seen someone else go through it. Why can't I? How do you feel about the doors of Brock? I feel like they can be designed better. They're really inconsistent. I feel like all the doors are different. They literally have to label them push-pull because they're all just handles. Uh, I feel like they're excessive. Like, you know, they're plentiful to the point of being excessive. Well, that's just frightening. I mean, if there's doors, then there must be windows, right? I don't think it's something that I've super thought about a lot, but like for the most part they're okay, though there is a few that like you think that you would push them but you have to pull them even though there's like the bar there, like it's super strange. But for the most part I think they're okay. Oh, like D-O-O-R? Yeah. Oh, I've never heard of one. They're okay? I don't know, like mo most of them are fine. Some of the hinges are kind of poor, but I guess. The average person passes through 31 doors a day. They are a common part of everyday life, but do we really know what they are? At Brock University, doors are an important part of the educational experience. Everyone uses them, but very few even notice them. But not everyone is blind to the presence of the doors and their impact on our daily lives. security access, but the door never actually locks. Uh, uh, there's an example right there. Oh, the hinge-based room actuator. I always found it kind of odd, personally, that you would put grabbing bars on the push side of a door, because, like, 
the whole point of a surface, a flat surface of a door, is to, to apply torque to push it. You don't need those bars there. You just go to grab the bars, you pull it like a, like a dumb ass, and they don't go anywhere. It's so, devastating. Uh, so how does this, uh, the, how, do, how, do, how do these things uh, make you feel? Uh, honestly, they, they made me feel like uh, an inadequate human being. Like, I've been opening doors for some, some odd 22 years of my life, perhaps, and to be thwarted by a door at, at this age, it just, it really, it really strikes, strikes to your almighty core how insignificant of a speck we are in this horrible, chaotic universe. All right, thank you very much. Uh, that's all we need. All right, thank like you. to make your way out, that would be perfect. <laughs> okay, is that actually it? Yeah. <laughs> Why? <laughs> okay, can you give me context? Definitely. <laughs> Only... That's good. That's it. Yep. Thank you. Now you can't tell anyone what Is that the same question for everyone? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. What is it about? We're making a documentary about Doors of Rock. Mockumentary. Oh, about- Oh, the bad design of them? Yep. Oh man, I hate the Doors of Rock. There's no dick snap! Oh, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just want you to say that again. How do you feel about the Doors of Rock? I feel like they can be designed better. They're really inconsistent. I feel like all the doors are different. They literally have to label them push-pull because they're all just handles. <laughs>